Good day to each and everyone. Again, my name is Cher April, and we are here for another presentation for Cookery Grade 10, Quarter Number 2, Module Number 7. And we're going to talk about plating, presenting poultry dishes. Let's start with our learning targets. First, I can identify the types of surface wear to be utilized in serving poultry and game bird dishes. We also have, I can present plate poultry and game bird dishes with appropriate sauces, garnishes, and accompaniments. I can observe safety and hygienic procedures and practices in plating poultry. Creative food presentation techniques. The way food is presented affects a person's perception of how it will taste. People instinctively reject bruised apples, brown bananas, and they are recognizing well marbled beef and perfectly ripe produce. Prepared dishes work in the same manner. The perfect dish includes food, that tastes as good as it looks. Much of the artistry of cooking comes after the food that has been cooked and it is time to transfer it from the pot to the plate. Here, chefs rise above cooks as they arrange the different components on a plate like interior designer's place, furniture to create culinary masterpieces. Plating is the act of arranging the meal on the individual plate immediately before it is served. There are some factors to consider in presenting plating poultry dishes. First, you have to consider the type of service wares. Are you going to need an oval cover or a round tray? The plating art, accompaniments, garnishing, and the types of sauces. How to do control portion sizes? These are the portion control secrets. When we talk about portion, this is how much food you choose to eat at one time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack, whether in a restaurant, from a package, or in your own kitchen. Portions can be bigger or smaller than the recommended food servings. There is no standard portion size and no single right or wrong portion size. When we talk about serving, this is the amount of food that is listed and recommended on a product's nutrition facts. You can see this on the panel of the packaged food or the amount of food recommended in the food guide pyramid and the dietary guidelines for Americans. Sometimes the portion size and serving size match, sometimes they don't. A serving is a standard amount used to help to give advice about how much to eat or to identify how many calories and nutrients are in food. The portion control for cooked poultry and game chicken. We have the meat that usually shrinks about 25% when cooked, like pasta, it is shrinking. A chicken breast is generally 3 to 4 ounces. A chicken thigh is usually 2 ounces, while a leg is 1 to 2 ounces. Chicken wings are high in fat. A meat, a quarter pound hamburger, a 4 ounce will actually yield a 3 ounce portion after cooking. An 8 ounce steak will yield about 6 ounces of cooked meat. When it comes to plating the food, of course, it must be natural for the presentation. When we talk about natural, it should feel as though everything that is on the plate is meant to be. It should feel as though everything that is on the plate is meant to be exactly where it is. You need to strike a balance between having enough food on the plate to convey hospitality without overcrowding the plate. And, of course, if that will be the case, you might also offend your guest. In plating the 
food, you have to leave one third of the plate empty and then plate your dish immediately before you serve it. It goes without saying that hot food should be hot and cold food should be cold. Always check the temperature of your food before you serve it to your guests. This is the rule of thirds as what you can see in the picture. For number one, you have to put the protein, beef, chicken, pork, fish. For number two, you have to put here the vegetables, any and all except the starchy one. And number three, this is where we're going to put the carbohydrates. These are the starchy tubers, white rice, and fruit. In plating the food, you have to check to see that the plate is clean. Clean the spills or sauces away with a moist and clean sponge or paper towel. You have to plate ed edges that should be specially immaculate. In decorating the plate or decorating the frame, if the food is the masterpiece, then the plate is the frame. Adapt artistic framing strategies to your cooking for a quick way to improve your food's presentation. So you need to buy beautiful bowls and plates in a variety of shapes and colors. So as you can see, the same bowl of soup looks dramatically different in a small Asian ceramic cup and an oversized shallow white French consommé bowl. You have to decorate the rim of the plate. Use culinary elements like colorful spices or confectioner sugars, specialty salts like Hawaiian alalea or Himalayan pink salt, which also lend themselves wonderfully to this pur purpose. Heating two birds at one stone, one for decoration and the other for its purpose for the taste. In decorating the frame, Small appetizers that are part of the presentation is making the display platter look beautiful. Make a bed of uncooked soba. These are the healthy pasta noodles or flat rice sticks. Shops of wheat or large sprigs of fresh herbs like rosemary and thyme. This is also a good trick to use if you are preparing hors d'oeuvre platter. In decorating the frame, you have to garnish the plate before you plate the food. Garnishing always comes first. If you're decorating a plate that will be hold hot food, be aware that by the time that you finish garnishing the plate, the food may not be hot anymore. So if this is impossible, you have to work quickly and have all the garnishes close by. You need also to have mixed shapes colors and textures, food is naturally beautiful. You have to combine foods with different shapes, colors, and textures on the same plate. Grilled filet mignon becomes even more decadent when it appears on the plate with a stark white mashed potatoes and a bright green steamed vegetables. Different elements combine for a dish that catches the eye. If your plate will contain multiple elements, you have to use an odd number of dishes rather than the even number. This is for further interest. So if you can see, this is a grilled filet mignon. You put mashed potatoes. It, it, it can even look better if you're going to put a steamed asparagus and add a stack of sliced tomato. And the combination will become a regimented and less and remarkable. For others, you have to integrate a variety of shapes in each dish. Risotto is boring when paired with rice as the two are nearly identical in shape and color. So you have to put meatballs and brussels that have different in colors, but they have the same shape. For a restaurant royalty twist on a traditional side-by-side -side plating stack, the components of your dish vertically. You have to arrange it as what you can see in the picture into a TP on the plate with a dipping sauce that you can see in the center. This will make the salad more cylindrical. 
For the mixed shapes, colors, and textures, we have an example of a creme brulee. We're in the features. It has a delicate, crunchy top layer. You can see that the most aesthetically pleasing plate of food does not include garnish. Garnishes can be simple or intricate as you like. So for a twist, you can have parsley, sprig, herb, spice in a dish. For example, a ham, you can flavor it with rosemary, and you can add sprig or rosemary on each plate. For garnishes, the spicy pad thai, as an example, can include a lemon, paprika that is sprinkled on the plate. You can splice fruit or vegetables into a thin round that is one for the flesh connected to the one side that will going to hold it together and you have to spread out the slices and neatly arrange. This is an example which enhances the appearance. Garnishes is a key to selecting a picking garnish and it will improve the dish. The garnishes add color and continue a theme as a brightly colored orchid on top of a passion fruit. They can ha add accent on a dish colors like chives on top or baked potato. An example, this is a pad thai and you can see that it can provide complementary flavor. It has contrasting flavor. It can also make delicious garnets. You can swirl it around or atop the plate or visual and gustatory interest. Garnishes, since most children and their families eat their meals at home, attractive food presentation is just as important at home as it is in the restaurant. The way food looks on the plate is the most commonly ignored facet at home. So you have to put into consideration like time, money, and food allergies on the presentation. You can add sugary cereal like the Mickey Mouse shaped waffles with asparagus egg ice. Bacon smile and potato chicks. You can even trick it with your own plate into Brussels sprout, zucchini, and other healthy produce with a beautiful arrangement on a dish. We have to be creative, innovative, so that our plating skills will going to be enhanced. That's all for today. These are my references. And thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe and ring the notification bell button for further updates. See you again next week.